Hello everyone, welcome to 526 Database Management. I'm your instructor, Ming Li, and this is week one. Before we go into the details, let's have a quick course introduction. You can find the syllabus on the eCollege, and here I'm going to briefly go through the syllabus uh, for 526. First of all, this is the online course and uh, your participation by checking the PowerPoint videos and homeworks are essentially very important to success for this course. And you can reach out to me at ming.li at tamuc.edu at any time. And because I'm full time working in the daytime, so my response may be delayed a little bit, but I will try to respond to your uh, request as soon as possible. We're going to have one hour per week online office hours. Uh, we're going to schedule it to accommodate uh, the remote students schedule need. And to protect your academic privacy, please remember to use your uh, university email uh, to reach me. For questions. We do have a required uh, textbook, uh, this right here, written by John and Michael. Um, database management is actually a very hands-on course. We're going to do a lot of coding and programming to uh, make sure that we understand the details about uh, what what is mentioned in the textbook, what is a theory and what is application, how we can apply what we learn in real uh, problems. So you are going to install the MySQL Workbench, which is a free software you can download. And the instruction to download uh, MySQL Workbench uh, can be found in eCollege. Please go through the download instruction as well as watch the brief video for how to use the software uh, before you go to the next step. And for this course, um, it is designed to introduce database management uh, to students with application at focus. So uh, you're going to learn a fundamental of database management, basic SQL, advanced SQL, and how to utilize database management and SQL to retrieve needed information to solve business analytics problem. And here is the learning outcome from this course. Uh, for the grading, um, the homework is actually going to be a major portion of the final grade. We're going to have around 12 homework assignments and uh, with five points for each assignment which a maximum of six point uh, will be given for each student from the homework assignment. So uh, homework assignment are very important. And please make sure to complete and submit every homework by the deadline to get a full point. <coughs> Later homework uh, will be considered, but with certain portion of the point will be deducted from the late submitted homework assignment. We're going to have a midterm exam uh, uh, with, with uh, 20 points in total. And we're going to have a final exam with 20 points in total. The f at the end of the semester, um, if your total point is between 90 and 100, you will get an A. And uh, 80 to 89, you will get a B, etc. Um, so uh, please know the extra point will be used to calculate your final grade. There's no percentage or curving uh, will be used uh, for this course. Here is a brief course outline uh, for what we're going to do for this semester. And it is tentative based on the background of the students as well as the feedback from the students. I'm going to adjust uh, the speed as well as the content accordingly. Okay, as I mentioned, <coughs> the first step uh, for this course is to download and install MySQL Workbench. And there are instructions on the eCollege uh, course home, 
and please read through the download and install instruction. Follow it step by step to install the MySQL Workbench. And we do have a, a relative alternative approach that is a online SQL server can be accessed from uh, the link right here. But this is online SQL server, it has a limited functions. So it cannot run all the SQLs um, that we learned from the database. So this is a good online learning website where you can run some basic SQLs. Um, it is very convenient when you do have some trouble with your SQL, uh, my SQL workbench, and then that will be alternative place you can play with uh, uh, your uh, SQL code. And um, database management is actually a very essential skill that uh, for anyone who are going to do business analytics in corporate world because any of the data that uh, you can get is actually in some sort of a database format, especially for companies that rely heavily on the data, which is pretty much every company now. Every company are trying to heavily rely on the data to make the right decision. So how to retrieve data in the right format? how to join the information from different tables become a very essential skill for business analytics. And uh, it's just like um, um, your arm and leg uh, for work, SQL management, database management, and SQL language is basically your survival skill to be successful in the business analytic uh, area. And we're going to be, we're, we're going to focus on the application side. Uh, so first, uh, please read introduction part of the textbook. It gives a very, very nice introduction of what is database and uh, how it evolved in the past and why it is important. It's a very quick and easy read. Then read chapter one of the textbook. The chapter one of the textbook is a very high level summarize on some of the technical details in database management, uh, as well as basic SQLs. And uh, it is also a very easy read as well, uh, no matter whether you have background in database management or you have no background on the database management. And if you do not have previous background in database management, try to spend a little bit more time on chapter one to get some understandings. And as well as uh, try to come up with some questions such that we can discuss those in more detail during our online uh, office hour every week. The time is, uh, is to be considered, uh, uh, to be determined later. To help you um, read through chapter one of the textbook, I actually list all the major topics in these slides. So well, first of all, it introduced two types of databases. One type of, one type of the database uh, people usually call a operational database, which is basically related to day-to-day -day operation of a corporate. Let's use Walmart, for example. Walmart has transactions every minute, every second and the uh, sales and inventory database for Walmart is actually dynamically changing. So it changes every second, every minute. So uh, in operation status, um, the database are always dynamic. You do not have a snapshot of the database. It is always evolving, it's always changing based on the transactions, the customer uh, buy things as well as by the orders that uh, Walmart placed with vendors and suppliers. So uh, operational database is the keywords is very dynamic. Another type of database is more like an analytical database, which means the data is more or less static uh, and it is constantly adding stuff, but on the stuff that's already in the database, it is more or less static. And the analytical database 
uh, is, is kind of like the data is already there. You can do some analysis and gain some insight for future better business operation. So both are very important databases, uh, type of databases for you to understand. And their key difference is one is more dynamic and the other is more static. And in database, the very basic, the very, very basic element is actually tables. And there are different kind of tables in my database. And uh, for each table, uh, usually for one table, we're representing a single specific subject. The subject can be object, such as a um, student's record or event. For example, a sales uh, transactions. So uh, a better designed table uh, will actually very focus on one single specific subject. And within that table, we're going to have rows, we're going to have columns. For rows, there are actually different names uh, for rows. For example, it can be called record, uh, it can be called uh, tuples, and which represent a characteristic of the subject uh, of the table. Like if the table contains student information, very likely each line, will, each row will contain the uh, information for each student. And columns are sometimes called fields, sometimes called the attributes, which represent a unique instance of the subject of the table. So for example, um, for the a table of students, you may have the column of student name, student ID, and the student GPA, etc. So every column is actually a attribute or field of the student. And the row and column actually define a table. And for table, there are actually some specific columns or a combination of different columns or fields. They become, uh, they make it unique. Uh, and uh, the primary key, primary key is one important concept in the table. In table, usually you have multiple columns and multiple rows. The primary key is a field or a group of fields that uniquely identify each uh, record, that each of its rows. And the primary key are very important because the unique behavior, uh, you can identify each and every rows in the table, make it uh, very important. It's identification purpose to make the data actually uh, in a good format. <coughs> Foreign key, is any columns in a table that uh, that field, that column is actually a prime key of another table. So it may or may not be the prime key for this table, um, but it is indeed a prime key for one of the other tables. For those columns, it is called a foreign key. And we're going to discuss more of the primary and foreign key in the future, but those are uh, actually, um, prime and primary and foreign key are nothing special, but they are just uh, specific columns. And um, so uh, they are very useful in terms of identify each rows. And the uniqueness about primary key is it can uniquely identify each of its record. And uh, when we are familiar with table, the next one is actually view. In a database management, uh, especially in enterprise environment, tables are very sensitive information. And very likely, you're not going to work with the table directly, but you're going to work with a view. A view is a virtual table that composed of fields from one or more base tables. For in most cases, for security purpose, the base table is a lockdown and you're not going to access the base table, but you can access the base table through a view. And the view is a virtual table. You destroy a view, but you uh, will not actually have any bad effect on your base table. So it's a extra security in most cases. Um, uh, why 
people are using Vue instead a virtual table instead instead of a real table. The Vue actually does not uh, store any data, and uh, it only stores the table structures. And sometimes Vue is a referred as a saved query, and it is indeed a specific query to connect to select a few fields uh, from different tables by join the tables and group the tables, etc. When there are multiple tables uh, are involved in the database, which is uh, very likely in real life situation, in a particular database management situation, you're going to deal with multiple tables. When there are multiple tables, and then there are relationships between tables. Suppose we have two tables, and the relationship between those two tables can be one of the three types below. The first one is one-to-one, -one, which uh, means a single record in the first table is related to only one record in the second table. So for these kind of tables, it's very easy to manage because any record in one table, there's only one record in the second table uh, to be related. And the second type of table is one-to-many. Uh, in that particular case, a single record in the first table can be related to many records in the uh, second table. But a single record in the second table can be related to only one record uh, in the first table. So uh, this is um, um, another types of uh, relationship. Um, the third one is more complicated. That's basically a single record in the first table can be related to many records in the second table, and a single record in the second table can be related to many records in the first table. In this uh, in this situation, it will be re uh, it will not be possible to link those two tables directly uh, because there are many to many um, um, match conditions, and a special linking table is needed to connect many to many relationship. So in the textbook. There are very nice examples actually showing you what is one to one, what is one to many, what is many to many uh, relationship. Please read in the uh, reading the uh, through the textbook and get a deep understanding of the difference between those three type of relationship. And uh, yeah, that's all for the first uh, um, course introduction. And we do have a, a the first homework. The first homework, uh, first task is follow the MySQL download instruction at course home to download in, and install MySQL on your computer. And watch the MySQL tutorial video at the course home to make sure your installation is successful. And the third one is go to this uh, web page uh, and make sure you can run one query. Uh, within that uh, um, uh, website and uh, read through the introduction in chapter one of the textbook and answer the following questions. There are four questions here and uh, um, first read through the um, textbook and then uh, answer those questions. To submit your homework, confirm that you have finished one, two, and three and provide answers to four and submit a PDF file uh, to the Dropbox. Again, welcome to Database Management. And my name is Ming Li. I'm a full-time data scientist in Walmart. But meanwhile, I'm a, uh, a uh, part-time adjunct faculty member in the department to teach some of those uh, business analytics related courses. I use database on a daily basis. And because as a data scientist, I need to work uh, with a lot of data. And uh, the data, in most of the cases, nearly all cases, it is in some sort of database. And in Walmart, it has all the databases that uh, you can imagine, from uh, um, like the Teradata, DB2, and SQL database, and anything that um, has been somewhere involved in Walmart, it probably um, add up together to all the potential databases that uh, people can use. And database software like DB2, Teradata, etc., 
they have their own specific uh, syntax. But in this textbook, we're going to only cover the standard syntax for um, uh, SQL uh, as well as database, database management such that you can use it in all the databases uh, software that is uh, available, including both the commercial software as well as open source free uh, software um, uh, related to uh, database management. Again, welcome to database management. Uh, I'm, uh, it's my pleasure to share my experience in uh, SQL and um, business analytics. And hopefully you're going to learn some material that is going to be very useful for your future um, work. See you next time.